If you're looking to have your lawn cut on demand, then check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm out with my lawn and it's freshly cut. And there are a lot of reasons that you might need an on-demand lawn cutting service. So maybe you have a rental property and you just need it cut one day. Maybe you're taking care of a loved one that's remote and lives away from you and you want to get their lawn cut. You know, for me, there are a couple times that I've thought about it and really needed it. One, like when I'm on vacation and I'm like, who's going to cut my lawn? And, and sometimes you ask a neighbor to do it. And sometimes you find a neighborhood kid or hire a company, those types of things. And you might be doing your yourself and so you might not have a good connection for it now in my case my actual lawnmower uh, broke a belt the last time I was mowing so instead of just letting my lawn continue to grow until I could get my lawnmower fixed I figured I need to have someone come and cut it so that's where this app comes in it's actually called plows and mows so it's not just a lawn cutting service but it's also for snow plowing and snow blowing so the thing that you do is you have to set up an account and then you just put in your information you have to select the size of your lawn so I have a larger lawn about 0.7 acres so pretty big and then you can just request it based on you know a day and time that works for you now I will say what ended up happening is I put in all my information and ordered a lawn cut and there was no one available that day so what they do is I think they try to match you up with one of their uh, approved vendors in your neighborhood and so I got a text message that said hey we don't have anyone Monday but we can send someone Tuesday does that work so that was just fine and in most cases they're just outside they don't ring your doorbell or anything so they can just have at it whenever you like now what is the lawn cutting service like they showed up on the day and the time I expected and I actually wasn't here and it was no problem. They just started getting to work and I think they did a pretty good job. Now from the security cam footage, I could see that the guy was on one of those standing riding lawnmowers and it did a really good job. He cut everything. I mean, every inch of my lawn. And in fact, some of the areas that are really hard to get to, he got right up against. Now, I'm not sure if he did that on the rider or if he got to it with an edger because I want to show you a couple things to keep in mind areas around things like this light pole are really hard to get without doing it with a weed whacker you know around this pole around the edge here all this was really really tall thick grass because even when i cut it i just kind of let this go and so that's nice that he got all that taken care of of course now if you really care about the details there are some areas like this little lawn light here. I still have some longer grass around that, so he didn't edge around it, which is actually okay because these are just plastic, and so sometimes you can actually beat those up with a weed whacker. So I'm not disappointed with that because I think overall uh, he did a great job. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the price and the trade-offs. So for my size lawn, I think it was a half acre to three quarters of an acre. The lawn cutting was basically $71 or something like that, and I think it was worth every penny. Basically, I had chopped around on prices when I was actually looking at long cutting services and that was about the same price that everyone else was giving me plus i didn't have to actually subscribe to anything now you can actually uh, get a lower price if you are willing to subscribe to it so i think actually down to like 51 52 dollars a week if you're willing to subscribe to them and so that actually brings the price down considerably i will say the beauty of this is that i just don't have to have a subscription to a lawn cutting service now you might like that and that might work for you and it can save you a lot of time but i like saving a lot of money by doing it myself i will say though that uh, one of the trade-offs here is that you aren't going to get necessarily a designer lawn cut so some people like you know the stripes in the line or, or the diagonal lines things like that i don't think you can request that or demand any of that some people are worried about the lawnmowers that they use you know do they leave tread marks and all that kind of stuff there's no way to be that nitpicky about it you know if you want something like that you're probably gonna have to audition a few landscapers and then go with the one that you really like so that's kind of a trade-off now i bring that up because i don't care about it but i know a lot of people in the suburbs do care about that and some people who are really fastidious about your lawn okay so if that's something that you want then you probably want to go with the higher end landscaper so uh, more power to you but the big pro to me on this is that you can actually request something on demand so a lot of the landscapers and the lawn companies will actually require you to be in a subscription service and if you want a one-off job or something like that in most cases you can't even get that because they have their own schedule and they just follow the routine and weather kind of screws that up and so sometimes if you just want a one-off cheap lawn cutting you just can't even get it for weeks at a time and so this was really nice because with this service i was able to get it done literally 48 hours later almost 24 hours later if they had had someone but 48 hours later which was pretty awesome so i think it's pretty great and it's really the uber of landscaping services at a pretty good price so hey if you want to try plows and mows i will put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out